Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Pensado's Place. We are sitting in hallowed music halls. Uh, we are in Sunset Sound, where Prince and Earth, Wind & Fire and Rolling Stones and Van Halen and Rage Against the Machine and I could, Elton John could go on forever and ever and ever. Uh -huh. But I've got a current legend here to our left is the one and only John McBride. Um, and we're going to talk about an amazing thing called Inside Blackbird. If you don't know about Blackbird Studios, you should. If you don't know about John McBride, you should. But this is a guy that beyond he, the fact that he continues to go out and mix and work, mm -hmm. uh, is legendary for what he cares about audio, what he cares about music. His wife happens to be Martina McBride, which doesn't hurt. Uh, and he is a patron saint and an incredible friend and brother to Pensado's Place. What's up, man? How are you? I'm good. Man, I I'm good. couldn't be happier. The same here. What's up, man? How are you, Dave? By the way, I'm a legend, too. Uh, I know you are. <laughs> You're the only no, legend. Really. You may be legend. the only legend right no, here. No, I don't no, know. No, 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 no. Legend means I'm done for it. You know, I'm nah. still got, I still got some, I still got some, some so, gasoline in the tank. That's so one fine. of the things that that you've probably seen if you're watching TV at all is these master class series with, you know, Gordon Ramsay and so, so forth. Yeah. But how about one for music and audio? And John McBride has been busy putting together one called Inside Blackbird. Just to give you a little factoid, the people, and I'm going to ask John who's involved, but the people that are involved have over 160 Grammy nominations, over 80 Grammy wins. This is just a group of the best in class where you can learn about audio, find out from your heroes, from one of the most legendary studios and places in the game. John, what got into you? What made you think you should do this? <laughs> well, what really happened was I thought about when I first got into music and I was at, you know, I started in clubs and I needed to know more, but I wasn't aware of any audio schools, if there even were any back then, and there may or may not have been. But I thought, wouldn't it be great to give people access to every part of the recording process, mixing, overdubbing, songwriting? Mm -hmm. Let's start at the very beginning. Yes. On through to mastering and pressing records, et cetera. I just wanted to put together a great video series where you can learn as much as you want about the process. Mm -hmm. um, we have such a broad base on this thing. We're, we're basically looking at everything in the recording process. We're looking at touring mm -hmm. and live music mm -hmm. because I don't feel like online there's very much good information about touring. I agree you know? completely, yes. And we just wanted to do it in a really pro fashion where it, you know, the video looks right, the audio is right, but more importantly, the information is right, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I I know so many people in the live world. Um, you know, we interview Dave Natal, who mixes Jeff Beck and the Rolling Stones. We interview Pab, who mixes Paul McCartney and ACDC. We interview uh, John Cooper, who mixes Bruce Springsteen and the Doobies. And, you know, just a lot of uh, many years of experience yeah. there, you know? Yeah. And we get into how do you EQ the front of house PA? How do you act on a bus? Mm -hmm. What's the layout of a bus? We have a bus tour in this oh, thing, I you know? It. It's That's fun. so smart. You know, and, and then the various jobs on the road. And I know I'm just talking about live right now, but tour manager, production manager, stage manager, band techs. You know, uh, we get into motors and, oh, God, wow. wireless. We get into uh, just anything and everything. I saw somebody doing rigging. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Amazing. Amazing. It's an important, a really important part of the process because you and you, you know, make money in that space. <laughs> oh yeah, you do. <laughs> yes, yeah, you do. riggers get paid great. Yeah, absolutely. And um, so, I just thought anyone that loves music uh -huh. and wants to find out more about the recording process or the touring process, we can put together 
a website where you can learn as much as you want. We're also going to incorporate a live performance thing. Uh, we're going to try to do once a month where there's a live concert from the studio. Love it. Um, I interview a lot of different artists. Yeah, I like who are some of the names? Well, uh, it's funny because we've got a couple coming up this month, Keith Urban and, and Greta Van Fleet. Yeah. Garth Brooks has already done, and Vince Gill. We've already um, shot, and and the amount of wisdom, and Dave Stewart, you yeah. know, just got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yep. There's there's such a great example of of uh, artists in different genres. Yellow Wolf, mm -hmm. Billy Corgan. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's music is so diverse. And there's so much going on in so many different areas. And honestly, one of the people to benefit the most from this might be me because mm -hmm. I'm learning more and more and more about different styles of music mm -hmm. and how it's made mm -hmm. and the different production techniques. And it's just fascinating mm -hmm. to me. John, know? which do you think you could get more information for yourself from a live or, or, or a studio thing? You know, it's funny because... And, or, and, and tell me about the overlap, too. Sure. It used to be studio was over here and live was over here. You know, they, uh -huh. there wasn't a lot in common. Uh -huh. These days, they're a heck of a lot more. They might be this close together uh -huh. because with technology, most tours are carrying some type of either Pro Tools uh -huh. or Logic or something for playback, maybe for recording uh -huh. every night. Or a heavy-ass 480. Sure. <laughs> you never know. That's right. Yeah, depending on your console. You know, it's funny. I'm going to actually, the last six months, I've been out on a digital desk, a PM7, uh -huh. but I prefer to mix analog. I'm a little old school that way. Sure. But the beauty of it is in the studio and on the road, the gear complement, it, you find these pieces in both places mm -hmm. yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, man, I just figure the more you know, the easier your chances are to, to get, get, in, get in, the, in the biz, number one, but to even be able to talk to musicians, you know? Yeah. With drums, we get into, you know, everything from tuning to um, miking, compressing, mixing. We get into packing the lugs on a on a bass drum, you know, mm -hmm. which is funny because newer drums, you don't need to pack the lugs. They, they yeah. figured that problem yeah. out, but drums from the fifties or sixties, you know, you, if yeah. they, you hear this little squeak every time right. they hit that kick drum and you know, it's time yeah. to pack the lugs. Right, right, don't right. you think that curiosity is, is an element that's, that's pretty well received and should be? Oh, absolutely. Because you know what? Music is magic, or yeah. at least it is yeah. to me. It is. But the more I understand about it, the the more I like it, the more I'm able to. Uh -huh. You know, and I'm not one of these guys that goes, here's a song. I actually listen to the song first. Mm -hmm. I try not to dissect the production. and. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why would they use that kick sound? You know, or right, whatever, right, you right, know? Right, 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 right. I don't know. There, it's it's fun, but there's a natural curiosity I think that a lot of people have, and I think there's a lot of kids that are recording, yeah. you know, at home. And technology has made that possible today. Yeah. And and I I think in addition to that, the thing that's fascinating about the series, I've just seen the trailer and we've talked. Sure, is whether you're a kid. Or even an adult who, as just you're a weekend warrior, you're going to get something from it. Yeah. As I just went through the trailer, the wisdom from, you know, vet to vet, I was like, oh, wow, I never thought about it that way. And so to me, what it matches, in my view, we're in a constant technological evolution. We are. And it just, you know, plug in this week and something else next week and who knows what. And the idea that you can keep up by veterans who keep up and learn, because some of it is learning what you don't need to do. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Right? Some of it's, it's you know, you have to yeah. edit yourself and yeah. let technology, don't let technology use you. And it's fascinating to go, I can go right there and learn, right yeah. from the video. It, you know, 
We also have a lot of resources on the website. We're going to have, there's over 2,000 manuals to wow. everything from microphones to guitars to you name it. Wow. And, and there's um, a lot of how-to videos, you know. Mm -hmm. The best way, you know, like we go through drum miking with an unlimited budget and then drum miking with a very oh, limited budget. So smart. And it's shocking to me how close the sound I can get with three to six SM57s and yeah. a DAW. Wow. As yeah. to a kit with, right. you know, right. 67s on the toms or C12s on the hi hat and a snare bottom and. Right. And maybe some good ribbons on the overhead, <laughs> like KU3As. <laughs> anyway, we're all a little, I don't know if I should use this term, but yeah, we're a little yeah. gear queer. You yeah, know? fuck yeah. We love gear. Absolutely. It's all just tools or colors that yeah. you need to paint your picture, mm -hmm. you know? And, and, and guys, if you ever have a chance to go to Blackbird, yeah, absolutely. you will find out that this is not a theory with him. This is absolutely real. By the time you walk through those rooms, you'll come out the other end flabbergasted that somebody is that passionate, and then it connects to exactly how the music comes out. I don't care who records there. Yeah. They're going to have an elevated recording experience. Their shit is going to sound incredible, yeah. and and there's just a source of pride about it. You know, I did some mathematics, and in, in, in the year... 2025, John McBride will own all the gear in the world. <laughs> That's probably true. Yeah. Because he, because he bought his own uh, electricity. <laughs> that, we're already at that. I mean, uh, yeah. you, you got to go, you, you, you got to go see. You do. Uh, you got to go see his. And, and his I think the other that. part that you should also, you know, if you don't know this, is the Blackbird Academy is one of the finest audio schools in the world yeah. and clearly in this country. So yeah. you've got an educational, incredible educational institution attached to an incredible recording studio, attached to a guy and his whole team who cares about it at another level. And man, you're going to walk on that lot and come off better. Yeah. Now that is not, that's not even looking at the video series. <laughs> then you got the video series. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when we were there, we, we, we came back. Learning more than the kids did. I was changed. I know. I, I was changed, literally. And we've been shooting in this studio uh, some more people for the Inside Blackbird series. And it was yes. interesting. John wanted to make sure that all genres of music were included. And so the guys and ladies that we've been shooting, they have left as elevated from shooting it. Like, I, I hear from them, and they're like, my God. I, so... What we're saying to you really <laughs> what, is, how did they do? My God! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're saying to you is that um, right around the time this airs, you're going to have an opportunity um, to learn, um, to be stimulated, to hear your heroes talk to you. Then you're also going to meet people that you haven't met. Yeah. I certainly have. Um, have you found the thing that I also see is that. People, and you know everybody, they want to do this. Like, you're not having to force people to do no, this. No, I'm not. It's really amazing, especially people that have had a successful career already. 98% of those people are willing to share anything. Mm, they are. That's too beautiful about our profession. Yeah. It is. Yep. It is. Yep. That's what started in Salmon's Place. The times, you know, I knew Jeff Emmerich, and, and I could call Jeff and go, How'd you get that piano sound on Lady Madonna? Uh -huh. wow. And he showed me how, and I have never recorded a piano without including what he does exactly. since. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. You know, you, you, you can find shortcuts into how to get different sounds or better sounds. Yeah. You can find, you know, you get all, all the care and ha handling and maintenance you need to do on an electric guitar or an acoustic mm -hmm. guitar. Mm -hmm. We have videos about it. You know, it's how to not get screwed when you buy a guitar. Right. Which wow. I think is an important thing. Absolutely. Every time I go to look at a guitar, I think, yeah. well, I wonder how much I'm getting ripped off. Right, <laughs> you right, know? right, right. I right, mean, right. it's just frustrating. But this, this, I, I just try to look at, all the people and the gear and the rooms and the just everything that we have access to, why shouldn't the rest of the world know the same thing, yep, yep, you know? Yep, and, and I think, you know, 
John still goes out and mixes. Yeah. Um, and he's an active participant in this audio space. And the thing that was fascinating yesterday, which is out of context because of when you aired this, so it was probably a month or so ago, is we interviewed, John interviewed Baines, yeah. who works awesome. with Young Thug and a bunch of other yeah, people. Baines and, is a man. And by the time I got here, and they were talking, John was so turned on by a tracking technique that Baines had talked about. Yeah. And then Baines was turned on by, and, and nobody wanted to leave. Yeah. It was just yeah. so cool to watch, you know, all that kind of stimulation. Yeah. So um, you know, I just love seeing talent and, and uh, maybe a new creative approach to recording or mm -hmm. miking or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And it's funny because some music, you could make the whole record in your bedroom. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could play each instrument. You could do what you got to do. You could use samples. You can do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. To the traditional eight or nine players show up. Yeah. They're all in the same room or yeah. looking at each other, and everybody plays off each other. And that it's just, it, it's really interesting to see how things are progressing and. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sometimes I think we're making great progress, and sometimes I think we're taking a 100%, step back. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And the, I, the other thing I, ha I really wanted to bring this up too. I I don't want to miss out on the next Lennon McCartney. Yeah. So we've aligned with uh, Save the Music, which is a charity that puts instruments into schools and programs into schools. I just want to make sure that. Because today there's not enough music in schools, yeah, mm -hmm. and there should be. Yes, indeed. And so, save the music is going to get a percentage of everything oh, that wow. we do, wow. and and that way, I just sleep better at night knowing that things are going in the right direction. You know, yeah. That's why we love it, right? It's just, in, a, in a manly way, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> it would be really difficult if it was not a manly well, way. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> John's pretty, as pretty you work, handsome As man you work through that. your gender issues, no. we'll come back to you in a minute. No, John, John um, as, as Herb and I know, um, um, he's, he's a gift to the audio community. He's a gift to the oh. world. He's a gift to Moran, his wife. And... Um, and the, the the gear in his hands, you, you look at it, and he's like, it, you think he's handling a newborn baby. It's just, it's like, and 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 that 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 translates out into the world in a big way, I think. I, but, but when it's it, I have a lot of, I love music so much, and at, I finally hit a an age long ago where I thought. I have to work in music. I really don't have a choice, I don't think. I mean, I, I really have to work in music. I will never retire. I love my life. I love what I get to do. And, you know, as, as you get older and older, <clears throat> the school has become really important in my life yeah. because we're mentoring a lot of great kids. Great talent. Who know the bars up here, yep. who know that, Good is the enemy of great, That's and right. they need you know to get anybody's attention. You got to be great. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you know it's it's um, it's just important to me in life. And I I always thought if my only contribution to the music being made was providing a room in which to record, mm -hmm. where maybe you can get exactly what that you know dream is in your head. Then that's okay with me. I, that's good enough. What What would you say to the to the to the young person that knows a little bit but needs to go to the next level? Sometimes we got sure. stuck there. Remember when we were like in the sure. and What would you say to that person? You know, there's a big advantage to being in a music centric city mm -hmm. and not everybody can live in LA, New York or Nashville right. mm -hmm. or Austin or Chicago. That's even. Right. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want to miss out. I don't want someone to not follow their heart and do some desk job when they should be mm -hmm. involved in the process of making music. Absolutely. That's mm -hmm. how we keep it great. You yeah. know, that's what I want. And, yeah. and I, I think because we are, all of sort of similar age. I have found that for me personally, 
I now love it even more. Sure. In a, in a weird way. Like mm -hmm. the technology makes it available. Us being able to communicate about it. I know what you're saying. Makes yeah. it available. Our live events, the things we do, the education mm -hmm. side. And I feel sort of unleashed. Like this music shit is special. Oh, it is. And I'm going to keep bad people away and good yeah. people in. And the thing that I get off the most on, like you just brought up, is giving people the opportunity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here, let me connect you to this and mm -hmm. you go follow your dreams. And you don't know what's mm -hmm. going to happen. And then they come back and they're so touched yes. that you care. And then I, my theory is that when you get the opportunity, you pay it forward too. Like, you know, it's part of the community thing. You'll, you'll feel better. Your soul will be stronger <laughs> if that happens. Absolutely. You know, the, it's funny because inside Blackbird, I think of myself at the age of 18 or 19 when I knew this much. Mm -hmm. You never stop learning about music oh, yeah. or in music. Yeah. You know, every session I do, something comes up mm -hmm. that I that I learn. Yeah, know? yeah, that, absolutely. That's a great feeling. Well, I just thought if I could pass that along through Inside Blackbird, maybe it'll help someone go. Well, you know what? That isn't for me. Absolutely. Or maybe they'll go. I'm eating up with this. You absolutely. know, it's, absolutely. I just want people to find their true calling to be happy in their lives and their work because the music business is hard, tough. you know, it's tough. Tough. But when you can when you can make a living in it, you never you don't work a day in your life, you know. I don't know if this is an appropriate question. Um but I'm concerned about how YouTube is is taking over our jobs. Yeah. And um it's very difficult. I'm on YouTube a lot, and uh, it's very difficult to, to, to separate the wheat from the ch 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 chaff. Is it chaff? Yeah, chaff. 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 The wheat. Sorry. And um, I think that that's a place where we can probably, in my opinion, add more attention to because I know a lot of kids are, are, are doing things when they come to me to mix it that's just dead wrong yes and well, yeah. oh i learned that on this from this guy you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. and so I, I don't know if this is a proper thing or time to say that but i think that we should include that because it's doing some harm you know it's funny when i i'll go on youtube if i'm stumped about something mm -hmm. usually it's how to open the hood on the vw <laughs> exactly. or something you know. <laughs> anyway but yeah. part of the problem and the blessing and the curse of YouTube is anyone can post on there. And, you know, hopefully the lighting's all right. Hopefully the audio's good. But most importantly, hopefully the information, information. is correct. Mm -hmm. right. And with Inside Blackbird, we talk to no, we only, we talk to people that are tops in their career mm -hmm. and they give great advice. Mm -hmm. The amount of wisdom that is, within these videos mm -hmm. on, on Inside Blackbird mm -hmm. is shocking to me. You know, Unreal. if you if you pay attention and and you watch Nico Bolas talk about something or you watch, you know, Garth Brooks talk about performing or you you, you know, you Desmond Child talking about songwriting, you know, Ooh, you man. learn more. Yeah. And you appreciate greatness more than ever. And it's the panacea to what you brought up, which is mm -hmm. an interesting, which is I think actually fa is, is right on point. Because you have to you have to approach it like a doctor referral. Yeah. Like yeah. Um, that Good crack analogy. quack doctor referred me. I'm not going to go to that video, but John McBride referred me or Dave oh. referred me, yeah. and then inside Blackbird. And so what 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 we would say to you because we deal with it too is when you have all the information in the world, not all of it's correct, and at least for your own good, try to get to something that you know a number of people you respect say you should go there. Mm -hmm. This is really simple. If it's, if it's in this space, inside Blackbird, you don't need any other information because what you don't want to do is have to unwind bad learning yeah. that sets yeah. you back, that sets you back time-wise. Yeah. We've all gone through it. Yep. And it doesn't matter what your age or how savvy you are. And, and you're just talking about YouTube. You got TikTok. You got a whole bunch of other stuff that you have to do. <laughs> yeah. TikTok is the most powerful thing in the world in music business. Yeah. Record companies are, are utilizing, but 
the challenge without getting, you know, get off my soapbox is you have to curate and edit correctly. And then once you get there, then you can learn and then move your career forward. Mm -hmm. So if you get the first part wrong, you're going down the wrong path. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's really critical. It's good when you don't have to unlearn. Oh, God. You know, it's preferable, believe me. (laughs) Because it's it's a business that has a slow build to begin with. Yeah. It's not like you get your degree and then you're working the yeah. next moment. Like sure. there's a whole bunch of yeah. relationships yeah. and personal stuff you have to do and yeah. networking. Yeah. So so start learning from the beginning yeah. correctly yeah. so you can get, get ahead of the game. I always say on Inside that if we don't have the answer, we know someone who does. He sure does. And that's yeah. who you'll find. That's yeah. who you'll you know? find. And the, the other thing that's interesting about it is provided – and we feel pretty strongly that this is going to work. This series is never over. There's always new talent. There's always something coming along. There's going to be evolution oh. in the technology, right? And we're already covering such a broad area that we there's an infinite number of videos we can shoot. It's right. crazy. Crazy. But I just feel like hopefully it can become a resource for people, especially people that are starting out in the business or yeah. maybe even people that are – Midway through their career. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you never stop learning uh, when it comes to audio. Mm-hmm. And we're obsessed with it. And the beautiful thing is n- no person could do this by themselves at all. I am surrounded by so many incredible people. Mm-hmm. I mean, Dave and Herb. It's amazing how open everyone will be if I call and go, Okay, here's what I did, and it didn't work. And can you help me? And you know, and guess what? People will bend over backwards oh, to help you man. if you let them. Absolutely. You know what? The other thing too is that it strikes me if you're a school, it might be smart to have inside Blackbird as curriculum. You know, it's funny because there are there are videos that we're going to use in our in our program mm-hmm. already, and and it's. Something that I think a lot more people are interested in as a career, even though I don't know how hard, you know, parents usually want their kid to be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. Yeah. But not everybody's cut out to be a doctor or a lawyer. Absolutely. And that's, that's a very important part. If music is your passion, man. Go with your passion, you know. And, and, yeah. and I'll tell you, Dave and I have talked about this. Um, I now sometimes call music media because music has become, music and audio have become so important in every other genre. Sometimes it used to be dismissed. You know, mm-hmm. we'll get to the audio side in a second. Let's, yeah. we're in gaming or we're in yeah. virtual reality or, well, you try to have virtual reality without good audio. <laughs> yeah. It, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Yeah, and that's true. ultimately I'm finding, cause I do a lot of education stuff, the elevation of audio or the, the, the line that is my favorite is when I saw an indeed commercial on national TV and it says, your record label's taken off, but so is your engineer. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was <laughs> really shocked to see that commercial. I loved it. I know? loved it. I was like, yeah, we're, we're, st- we're moving the needle. <laughs> we're starting you know? to get uh, recognized <laughs> like as an actual, an actual career. An important you know? thing. Absolutely. Uh, let me get something off my chest. Yes. Um, I think I built my career by not having two terms, wrong, right. Music can't be wrong. If if you go down a dead end street with music, you learn something. If, if you if you get if you get through the maze, you learn something. If you get stuck in the maze, you learn something. So don't try to be right. Don't try to be great. Just try to be doing something in the music. And the next thing you know, four years later, twenty years later, you, you you got great skills. But don't don't worry about trying to be right. I don't think that's that's a need when you first start out. I'm not talking about after you've been doing something for a couple of years, but the hardest part about what we do is doing that first step because yeah. you don't know anything. And, 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 and I didn't know anything, but I was two years old. My mom taught me. <laughs> but, I, but I do think, to your point, one of the context questions that comes up with the series Inside Blackbird is wisdom. 
And so you'll get some technical information, but you'll get some stuff from people who've lived this yeah. and how they got through things yeah. and context stuff. I've just looked at the promotional stuff. And I was like, oh, shit, I want to use that. And oh, mm -hmm. you know, people come to us for that. Yeah. And, and I'm just telling you that not because he's my brother and not because of our relationship. This is a phenomenal series. It's got the John yes. McBride standard on it. Yep. And when you see the people who, who commit and don't push back and don't go through a whole lot of stupid negotiations and so on and so forth, you're getting a chance to get the very best in the business mm -hmm. who want you to learn and they're mm -hmm. sharing it mm -hmm. with you. If you don't take the opportunity, that's on you. He's providing it. It's up to you to take it because you have to be forthright about getting to your career and making stuff happen. Now you've got tools to do it, man. I'm just shocked at how supportive everyone I've interviewed or videos we've made about pro tools, shortcuts, or you name it. I yeah. mean, anything. DSing, whatever. Uh -huh. I mean, there's there are so many aspects to what we do. But the people that are that I call are they'll bend over backwards to pass this knowledge along. And that is kind of invaluable to me. It's so important. And mm -hmm. and you're not going to say it, but that's a lot because of you. Mm -hmm. That's oh. a lot because of who John McBride is yeah. and the standards. Absolutely. There's no, there's no I question. just try to treat people like I want to get treated, Herb, and that's no, about it. That's well, that's I'll, I'll, never, I'll never forget the time that, that we were in Nashville mm -hmm. and someone was circling the studio. And and John comes in, throws a, a C24 at you, and you happen to catch it. Thank God. A Telepunkin 270, actually. <laughs> and, and, and he's not, he's, John is not telling you these things to get you hooked on something. That's that's the man right there. That, no that's him. That's him. No, yeah, no and, and, and I went from being scared of him, and then he comes in, and within minutes, I feel like he's my father. Not, I'm his father. <laughs> I got that backwards. Sorry. <laughs> but I believe we're brothers from different mother. mothers Listen, or whatever. You know, I was know? getting ready yeah. to say, um, and I know this is home. This is the inside. This is inside Prince Alvarez Place stuff. But uh, when we met John for the first time and he took us on a tour, and there are so many things I won't share with you that were amazing about that tour, the mic collection, yeah. the way his rooms are calibrated, the way he what, he, to what he, the, the way we had lunch. Yeah, yeah. That's, right. Just, that's right. Because back then, John was, you know, John had the cigarette with the ash falling off yeah. and never fell yeah. off. Yeah. He had circular, <laughs> leg, like, and man, we were, I was like, man, this is like some real Nashville shit. Like, <laughs> I, know. I was just, and then we got a call. I'll never forget this. About 11 o'clock at night, we were pulling out of McDonald's eating really healthy. Yeah. And John said, you know, I feel like you guys are brothers from another mother. <laughs> and from that moment on, we have never been apart the whole way. And that's true. Yeah. yeah. And well, it's been amazing. I love music. And I want everyone to be able to be happy and involved in music if they want to be. But what you guys have been doing for years is right down, you know, the same alley. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 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 going wider, maybe with subjects. Mm -hmm. And in a way it, it's a curse and in a way it's a blessing, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But I feel like anyone who loves music. We'll get something out of it. Yeah, absolutely. No doubt. No absolutely. doubt in my mind. Absolutely. And, you know, you get to know artists a little better. Yeah. When I interview people, I don't want to talk about, you know, what they did 10 years ago or right. whatever. I mean, right. let's talk about your family or yeah. your parents. How, how did your mom and dad handle it? Yeah. That's right. When you decided to take yeah. this path. And which is so critically important. The, that yeah. wisdom, like, that's part of our business. You know? John, um, do you have anything in in, in in your your work where you give um, explanations to the jargon we use that we use? Because I found that to be an impediment. People yeah. don't know, like like we get that we get we get a. Can you make it sound blue? Can you make it sound red? We get a lot of that. Yeah. Because the jargon needs to be a, really a part of you. Yes. Really. And and so so you know you can you can, and you can say great things like take it from jump street which means take it to the top, you know? 
And uh, do you have any of that? You know what? We do have on the drawing board talking about different things that engineers say, oh, you know? Good. Uh -huh. I need some Judy Garland. It's <laughs> 10K and above, you know? Uh, you know, and it's funny because those kind of things make perfect sense to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I... Uh, um, I'm gonna put some more thought into it. We all we also are doing one about different yeah. licks yeah, on guitars yeah. and uh, skills. Uh, Do uh, one made for spouses. Oh, I should. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> no, no, we were we've been literally for six years talking about doing a show on spouses, and when I pose it to spouses, they'll go please, because sometimes it might be your wife or your significant other who's the lead dog in a mm -hmm. relationship how do you handle that mm -hmm. sometimes both of you are working in it um the lady that runs dr dre's company her husband is was for years the lead engineer and they had a, they had to have the unique thing to deal with that because your wife is your boss mm -hmm. till you get home and then you so there's there's stuff in there to be to mine's be the boss about. after mm -hmm. i get home I, too. <laughs> <laughs> you called me late at night but, we talked about that <laughs> i'm really really fortunate that my wife is a singer i like to you know engineer so our jobs complement each other and it's such I don't a blessing really. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the fact that I get to travel with her and actually be part of the process. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's it's a good thing. I you know, twenty four seven together that gets a little tough yeah. sometimes. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. Depends how long we've been out on the road. Twelve, but, you know? twelve, and twelve can be. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really, really a great life if, when you live it. No, we're we're all blessed. Yeah. So, folks, it's your opportunity. You see some information scrolling at the bottom. This series is ready right now, and uh, you can go to that website and that information. It will be worth your while inside Blackbird. And remember, that series will continue to evolve a number of videos. By the time you get through the first slate, you're going to be so much better, and um, and this will continue on. Again, if you get the opportunity to go to uh, Nashville and see Blackbird Studios and Blackbird Academy. And if you're lucky enough to meet John McBride, your life's going to be elevated. In the meantime, inside Blackbird, and we will see you next week.